Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this video, we are going to learn about expires header for Nginx. This header can help you to optimize Nginx performance and ultimately it will help you to have good performance for your application. So let us see how it works. First of all, you need to understand what expires headers is. So when a client sends a request and ask for a resource from server, for example, if a client that is your browser is requesting a server for an image, then the server responds and sends back the image to client and it attaches some headers known as response header. Within those headers, you have a header called expires. Expires headers ultimately tells the client for how long it can cache that particular resource. So if you have specified a particular resource or a particular image can be cached for five days, then the client that is your browser will cache that image for that particular duration. This way on subsequent request, the server doesn't needs to send back that image again and the client that is your browser can use the image from its cache. So this way in subsequent request, the performance of your application will be much better than before. So let's see this in action. I have a web server Nginx set up on an AWS instance. This is my instance on AWS and using easy to instance connect, I am logged in to my instance. Here I have already installed Nginx and it is running. So this is the Nginx process which is running. And if I access the public IP of this instance, I will get the default Nginx page. Here this Nginx page is getting served from this default configuration file. If I edit this, you can see that the server is listening on port 80 and it is serving from this particular directory where www.html so this is the default file that it is using. We will try to add expires header. So within this configuration, what I'll do is I will add a location block equals to slash python.png. So python.png is a file which is already present under where www.html folder. I will just show you. And within this location block, I'm adding a header, calling it my header and giving it a value test header. Let's save this file. Now this is reloaded. To test this out, all we need to do is we need to make a curl request with hyphen i option and we can use the same parameter. We can use the IP and at the end we will say python.png because we have specified header for this particular file. So it has responded with all the headers, response header. So this is a 200 OK response and it is being served through Nginx. And as you can see, it has added a header, my header and with a value test header. If I do same for the default page, then I will not get this header because the default page, the default index HTML page doesn't have this header because we have specified this for this particular file python.png you can also check this through browser if i try to access python.png so this is the image and if you inspect the page and go to network tab and just try to hard refresh this page so for python.png in the header section you will have response header here and the header my header is added so you can test this here as well. Now we will try to add cache and expires directive. So let's go back in the configuration file and let us go back to the same section. And here, apart from this header, what we are going to do is we are going to add more headers. So let us add header and add cache control and set it to public. That means this resource can be cached publicly. Then add another header called pragma and sets the value to public. This is just the older version of cache control. Then add one more header vary and set it to about the vary except encoding. 
we will discuss this in the upcoming lecture finally we will set the expires directive and will set it to 60 m that means 16 minutes you can also set it to 1 capital m capital m is for month here this will be one month or you can set it for one edge that is one hour so depending on the time duration you want to catch this particular resource you can add the expires directive let us go ahead and save this and then reload the nginx then let us make the curl request again for python.png and as you can see this time along with my header you have cache control public pragma public query accept encoding uh, we have expires header here that is friday 27th gen so we don't get the value as 60 m rather what we got is a date and time till which it should be cached and as you can see all these header were not present in our previous request the use case of caching could be more relevant for css file javascript file or jpg or png file which doesn't change quite frequently and you might want to cache those resources for a longer time as of now we have just set it for one particular resource that is python.png but you can just do it for any other resource so here in location part you can set a regex expression telling that anything that matches with an extension dot css anything that matches with the extension css js png jpg should have all these headers attached to it you can cache all these kind of resources for a particular duration that's it for this lecture see you in the next one